Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to use pebbles in a fully automated mode to fit uh, nanoparticle models to nanoparticle images in transmission electron micrographs. Let's start by loading an image. This is an image of manganese oxide nanoparticles. Automatic mode is suited to situations where the nanoparticles have similar shape and similar size. But before using automatic mode, we have to know something about our nanoparticles. So I zoom in a little bit and begin by fitting some nanoparticle manually. I use a spherical shape, linear model, and fit this nanoparticle. Okay, another one, spherical, linear, center, diameter. Okay. In the log window, I can see that the diameter is rather similar, so I decide to fit some more nanoparticles using the semi-automatic mode sphere diameter let's say 24 pixel and linear model so I can quickly fit this nanoparticle yes this one yes this one okay and the last one Yes. If you take a look at the log window, you can see that uh, our nanoparticles have very similar diameter, about 24 pixel, and that they have also a similar delta value. That is, the intensity change in the image due to the presence of a nanoparticle is about 100. I exit semi-automatic mode because we are now going to do a, an automatic fit. I reset the zoom to the original view and press the automatic fit button. As usual, a help window appears and I invite you to read these instructions before proceeding. I choose sphere as a nanoparticle shape, estimated diameter 24 pixel, linear intensity model, and now I masked for a reference delta. The number one has to input here is about one half of the, let's say, minimum delta value of your nanoparticle. It is used not to have false positive in the fitting session. As you have seen, the delta value is more or less minus 0.01, so I input here half of this value. Okay. Of course, during an automatic fitting session, you have not to click on every nanoparticle centers, but uh, a grid of guest centers is used. The spacing of guest center grid, of course, regulates the number of guest centers. The proposed value is usually a sensible one, so I just press OK. Now I'm asked if I want to prune the grid. But uh, in this case, we have an image full of nanoparticles, so I just answer no. And the automatic fitting procedure has started. You can see the yellow nanoparticle models having been fit, and the log window is updating with the new nanoparticle model parameters. As you can see, 
the fitting procedure is rather fast but in any case we will take some minutes to complete so we will see when the fitting procedure will be over here we are again after 25 minutes the image window I think it's rather impressive now as you can see almost every nanoparticle has been appropriately fitted to a model I zoom in a little bit just to show you the quality of the fit as you can see nanoparticles have been correctly fitted and there is very few nanoparticles which have not been fitted I come back to the original view just to show you that where there are nanoparticle superimposed pebbles does not fit them because this will be an inaccurate fit because in pebbles we only implemented single nanoparticle models and not superimposed nanoparticle models so this is a general feature of pebbles it is not able to fit superimposed nanoparticles now have a look at the log window where you have a summary of this automatic fit session the gas diameter was 24 pixel with this value for the reference intensity and the grid points that is the gas centers were 8600 pebbles fitted about 2700 nanoparticles in about 25 minutes so the fit time is about uh, 2 nanoparticles in 1 second next pebbles looked for redundant nanoparticle models fitted to the same nanoparticle image and the number of nanoparticles has been reduced from 2700 to about 1300 this means that every nanoparticle image has been on average fitted two times again this is a consequence of our choice of the spacing of grid points when the grid points are finally spaced as in this case almost every nanoparticle is fitted more than once and the redundant ones are eliminated from the list at the end of the fitting session if you choose a larger spacing you will find that uh, some nanoparticles have not been fitted but uh, overall you have a higher fit speed first of all I want to save my results and again I press the save list button and save my results even if pebbles is uh, truly accurate in fitting nanoparticles I always suggest to have a look at the fitted nanoparticles you can zoom maybe where there are suspicion nanoparticles you can check and maybe you want to delete some nanoparticles from the list and in the next tutorial I'll show you how to inspect nanoparticles, try to refit them and if you want delete them from the list. But for the moment I just quit and let's see you again in the next tutorial.